For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow that stuff for you. For the record, I have only going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to let no time to waste. For the record, this is good fish. For the for the record, for the record, for the record, for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price on y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. A6 all the hay. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and age. I'm flipping the bars. I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the all record off record. I still count wins. Well, when good morning. Got it Another very very cool day up here. I've just kind of finished off work yesterday and um, had to drive a few hours to get where I wanted to go. But very cool. I'll rewind what just happened there. Very cool fish. And then I'll see where we go after this. Just waiting for the tide to do its thing and we'll work out what's going to go on. But I'll play that footage there for you now. In the meantime, think about where else I'm going to go. And we'll show you the rest of the day. Come to me. Fuse is there too, there's gotta be fish. Wow. Fish, that's good. Oh. That's good, man. Oh, wow. Get me out of here. Oh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yes. Jesus. This is good fish. This is a really good fish. Come on, come up here. Oh. <sighs> 
Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a good G. That's a very good G. It's a very, very good jeep. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh my God. Look at that thing. Wow. Oh my God. How sick is that? Oh. All right. That's him. Oh. Ready, bud? Ready? Oh, no. Oh, I've got to swim in and get this water through him. Come on, bud. He's gone! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, that's so good. Thank God for that. Wow! Oh, thank God. So, I probably had him out of the water a bit too long just because I was trying to get a tag in him. And it's the first pack of tags I've gotten from this, so I couldn't work out the system on it. But first time I pushed him down, he didn't go down. And um, I just had to try and kind of swim him and push him down even harder just to get that water flowing through his gills and get the oxygen back through there. But as soon as he got down, he was off. And that is amazing. I'd rather not catch him at all than, than catch him and watch him die. So. That was special. I'm so, so happy with that. That's insane. Oh, let's do it again. That was TP Custom. I think it's like 150 gram. Yeah, 150 gram sinking. And he belted that, my God. Wow. So what I really wanted to do with that fish too is I really wanted to get a tag in him, just like that. And then that way he can be tracked for future data and whatnot if he is ever caught. But because I haven't used that one before, um, I kind of struggled and rushed and I didn't really want to keep that fish out of the water any longer, so I bailed on that idea. But we'll have that ready for next time. If we do get one, I definitely really want to get a tag in them, get as tagged as many as I possibly can. That way, any future data, they are caught, it's tracked, it's lodged, and it'll just go to more sustainable fishery. So because I do a lot of this kind of stuff solo, it makes it real difficult just when I'm trying to get the fish out of the hole and everything like that. And I don't really use a gimbal, so one day I'll invest in one of them. But for now, I just jam it in the side of my leg and every time I regret it. And that fish kind of burned my leader up a little bit because he, oh, he was getting there, but I'll just retie. We're gonna do the same thing again, see how we go. 
push your islands a point and then I'll hopefully get another one, get a tag in it. Many tags we can get and that's the best, that's what we want. So su super simple, when you go to do your tag and you push that button in there and it singes it and it's done. So you don't have to worry about lighter, don't have to worry about bringing any of that kind of crap and you're all good. Burn it on there, punch it down, you're done. No lighters, no anything. So leave it on your boat or wherever you need to and then you won't have to worry about bringing any of that crap again. Oh, yep. Oh, get me out of here. Spanish? No, it's the world's smallest little G that's foul hooked. Oh no, he's in the mouth. Same deal with that last one. I just kind of wanted to boost and get out of that zone. Just as I'm getting real close to the rocks and everything like that. But I've got the tag ready. Everything's good to go now. So I'm just going to pop that. Uh, get that way. Straight in him. So his lateral line's there. I want to put it about there. Just, in, just inside or above. Sorry. Yeah. That really shows you how aggressive these fish are. Like that's probably a 225 mil lure, I'd say. That's realistically half of his size there. Nonetheless, still a little G. He's tagged, so we'll get him back. Hopefully he's caught one day. See you, bud. And then when any data's captured, if that fish is ever re-caught, that'll get sent back in. Um, I'll fill out how big he was, where he was, all that kind of stuff. And yeah, if he, if he ever is recaught, that data is going to be filled out. It'll go into a database and hopefully bring a little bit more kind of knowledge about everything around here. So I was just kind of cruising to the next zone where I wanted to go and it looks really, really sick through here. So I'm going to put the drone up quickly. There's a heap of turtles. It looks really cool. And I'm going to give you a look at where we're going, what's going on here. And then we'll boost over and see if we can get some more genes or something. But this looks incredible, I'll give you a look now.
It was a thing Fight with the winds Fight till the morning sun Cool little trout. Really, really cool. So what's happened here, I've got outgoing tide and there's like a little reef flat here. So there's a deep edge out there pushing on. And I'm pretty much just throwing small little stick baits. There's bait going everywhere as well though. Um, yeah, just small little stick baits. And as that water hits that edge, um, the bait gets pushed up, the fish sit right on the edge and there should be a lot of little trout and some pretty cool stuff going through here. But first cast and it's produced so it's going well. How's the colours on that? Wow, you're pretty. See, bud. Oh, that was bad. Oh, yep. Oh. There we go, another little boy. See you, mate. Oh. Oh, wow. That's number five. 
There we go, straight out. There we go, bud. That is a sick little flag. So, Spanish fat, sorry, Spanish flag. Same family as your mangrove jack, um, red bass. Oh, see you, mate. They are the same family as what your mangrove jack are in. Your red bass, Moses perch. They're all species or family of what's called a legion. It's a scientific name. And you get them a lot cruising around like the reef edges and whatnot, just picking up all the scraps and whatnot. Nonetheless, still super fun on PE3, like super light gear. So the tide's dead. Um, well, I'm just waiting for the tide to pick up so I can go and try to chase some more Gs and whatnot for the afternoon. But that'll do me for now. I'm kind of coming into the end of the or the flat pretty well. So I'm probably gonna duck in, go for a swim. I might chuck the drone up, have something to eat. All right, well, I've just rocked up on the beach. Cool little place. Um, I'm just gonna have a little swim. Tide's dead, put the drone up, have something to eat, see what happens. And just like kind of zone out for a little bit. Like, what a place.